Hello, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. Today, I'm finally going to be sharing my roundup of all of the lip products I've tried recently. So there have been a ton of new lip products that came out in January, and I tried a lot of them. There are still more coming out that I'm curious about, but I really realized my lip collection kind of got away from me. So we're gonna talk about all of these today. So let's just hop right into it. So I did pick up a ton of new lip products, but I also picked up one of the new Sephora Favorites kits. So a lot of these came out of there. If it was a formula that was new to me, it's going to be in this video. If it was not a new to me formula, I'm not mentioning it just because I've already shared my thoughts at some point. I guess let's first talk about the new lip glosses I tried. So Kosas did come out with a set that had one of their wet lip oils and one of their lipsticks. So I'll talk about the lipstick later, but I did try out the lip oil for the very first time. This is the shade unhooked this is what it looks like and I do think this is a super super beautiful gloss and I think it does wear a little bit longer than some of the other lip oils in my collection that I've tried I think this is a really beautiful hydrating formula and I can kind of understand the hype around this Kosas is a brand that I don't get overly excited about but it's only because I've heard of their products expiring so quickly and for that reason I'm a little gun shy on some of their products just because I don't want to invest in products that are going to expire within three months so for that reason I never tried these but I was always very curious because I've heard such good things and these are a really really beautiful hydrating lip oil formula that's actually pretty long wearing next I tried the NYX Duck Plump in Nude Swings. So this is interesting because I'd heard a lot of people talk about this one. I heard a lot of people say this was very, very painful. I really do hate the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme because I think they're too painful. This is what this one looks like. And I will, of course, have little clips on the screen so you can see what they look like on the lips. This is just a really, really nice, really pigmented, creamy gloss type formula. It does have a tangle, but I feel like so many people were saying it's such an extreme type of formula and I had it on for five minutes and I just didn't find that it was incredibly extreme. But I do think I'm in the minority. I think you do get a pretty good <laughs> tangle out of this and it definitely does make your lips look a lot more full, but I don't know. I just didn't find this one to be unbearable. I think the shade was really, really pretty. So... I don't know. I would wear this again. I thought for sure that if I try it, I don't like it. It's really uncomfortable. I'll probably never wear it again. But this is one that I have worn again because I actually really love the color and I love the glossiness to it. It's a little bit tingly, but I didn't find it unbearably painful. So I don't know what that says about me because I hate the Too Faced, but this really doesn't bother me. I, I liked this quite a bit, actually. If you are looking for a plumping product, I would always recommend going with the Lawless Forget the Filler Glosses, but I really didn't hate this one if you're looking for something with a little bit more pigment. But just take that with a grain of salt because I've heard a lot of people say it's super painful. I just didn't think so. Next, I tried the e.l.f. Glow Reviver Lip Oil, and I love this. So this is a really, really nice lip oil. I love the applicator. I love that it's just this chubby little doe foot. It is incredibly hydrating. There really isn't very much pigment to it at all. This one is in the shade Pink Quartz, but I just really don't feel like it has much pigment to it. I just think it gives such a beautiful, beautiful shine to the lips, and it really does feel incredibly hydrating. I have tried the House Labs lip oils, and for some reason, I feel like they leave my lips feeling more dry at the end, which feels strange to me. These actually feel super, super nice. They're not the most long wearing. But they are a lip oil. I don't really expect them to be. I really, really enjoyed this formula. I think it's so nice. This is probably one of my favorite e.l.f. products. Like I've mentioned before, I'm not, I don't try a ton of products from e.l.f., but this has to be one of my very favorite products from them, just with how hydrating it feels on the lips. It's incredibly shiny. It just looks so nice. So I'm definitely loving this lip oil formula, but my absolute favorite lip oil was definitely discovered this month, and this is from Clarins, and this is the 
Lip Comfort Oil. This is in the shade Patea, and this is definitely my favorite lip oil I have ever tried. So this came in that Sephora favorite set. First of all, it smells really good. It smells like candy. This is one that seems to adjust a little bit. It looks kind of clear when it first goes on, but if you wait a minute, it's like this bright pink on your lips. and It's actually really, really pretty. I love how shiny this is. This is the most shiny, juicy lip oil that I have in my whole collection. I love the e.l.f. and I feel like there is a similar shine there, but there is just something about this one, the way the color looks on the lips, the way it feels, the scent I love. So this is a lip oil formula that I will actually be purchasing a full size because I like this so, so, so much. So I do have to rave about these. I think if you are looking for a lip oil, um, something that's just really beautiful, really, really shiny, and just makes your lips just look so good and glossy, but that isn't too sticky, the Clarins Lip Oils, hands down, definitely a favorite. Okay, I have one lip stain. I did try the CoverGirl Outlast lip stain. It is super long wearing. This is one they had a long time ago. I have this one in the shade Admire. So it's a really pretty color, and this is a formula that I really, really enjoyed the first time they came out years ago. And I think I had it in like a reddish shade. This shade in particular I think is gorgeous. I like that it kind of comes in this little applicator so you can really sort of line the lips and then fill them in. My only thing is that I do find this to be a bit patchy. So I've tried this on a few different occasions and I think they have changed the applicator since they first came out years ago and I know they recently just relaunched this collection. It could be wrong but I'm pretty sure they've changed the applicator and now something about this just ends up being a little bit patchy and I don't love that and I know that lip stains can do that but something about this to me in my experience, it just keeps coming off patchy, so I don't love that. In the lip balm category, I tried the NYX Fat Oil Slick Click. This is their shiny lip balm. I have the shade Going Viral. So the packaging isn't my favorite. Definitely trying to kind of copy the whole Tarte situation. The colors are a little more vibrant, and this is also one that you just click up. And it looks really, really pretty. It's definitely a very shiny lip balm. It definitely feels very comfortable, very hydrating and nourishing on the lips. I will say that, and I really do like that. I think it is shiny, but there are definitely shinier products out there. But I do think this is a good alternative for, say, the Tarte lip balms in the same format because it's a fraction of the price and they do the exact same thing. So I think this is a really, really nice formula if you're looking for this type of product. Okay, let's talk about some of the liquid lipsticks I tried before we move in to the bullet lipsticks. So first, AVH came out with these lip velvets. I have the shade Kiss and this is a really, really nice formula as well. So first of all, the packaging I think is really, really pretty and I think the entire line that they came out with is all very pinky nude. And this again goes on like that soft matte kind of moussey type texture. So if you like that, you might really like this. That's one of my favorites in liquid lipsticks. That's kind of like a more modern type formula. It's not like a super drying, aggressive liquid lipstick. It's just more of that soft matte moussey texture. If you're familiar with the Charlotte Tilbury lip blurs or the Makeup by Mario liquid lipsticks, uh, even the MAC Powder Kiss line, it's sort of like this. I would say the MAC definitely dries down more than this one, more than the Charlotte Tilbury or the Makeup by Mario, but that sort of whipped texture is what you're getting with this. So this doesn't dry down all the way. It is pretty long wearing, but not as long wearing as a classic liquid lipstick. So it will transfer, it will wear off, but it still looks so beautiful on the lips and it does give your lips that blurring quality. So if you don't like when your lip lines are a little bit too prominent, this will sort of blur them out and just make your lips look very soft and pillowy. But if you do have dryness, it will enhance that. So I just wanted to mention that it will blur the lines, but it will enhance dryness. That's the only thing, and it's not transfer proof. I do wish it was a little bit more transfer proof, but otherwise, I think it's a really, really beautiful formula. 
And I think if you really like that kind of moussey whipped texture in lip products, I think you'd really enjoy this. A liquid lipstick formula that is not new to me that I have tried before and I know I don't like, but I tried again, is the Maybelline Superstay Vinyl Ink. So this is in the shade Captivated. I picked this up because Megan Lombardi said this is the perfect nude. She was not lying, it is. It really is a perfect nude. So you can see it's just this really beautiful, shiny nude liquid lipstick. And what's special about these is it does dry down to a matte liquid lipstick that really will truly wear all day long. And at first it does have sort of this glossy finish on top. So you're getting this shiny liquid lipstick that's also budge proof. It is a really impressive formula. What I don't like is the way that it kind of stays tacky throughout the day. So even though it will last all day, there is a certain tack when you press your lips together. And I just can't stand that sort of sticky feeling that does annoy me, but sometimes I'll just deal with it because this is such a good long wearing formula. So it's kind of one of those trade-offs. I don't like the stickiness, but I love that it literally lasts all day through meals, through eating, drinking, everything. It just sticks around. It is a fabulous, fabulous formula. If you don't mind a sticky lip product, I think this is probably all you're ever going to need. If you hate stickiness, I would stay away from this, but it is a really good formula. Okay, let's move into the bullet lipsticks. And the first one I'm seeing actually probably could have been with the lip balm category. This is from Glossier, and this is the Ultra Lip, and this is in the shade Villa. This I do think is beautiful. This is just a really nice balmy pinky lipstick shade. It's a little bit more on the sheer side, but it is pretty pigmented. And it's super comfortable on the lips. It's just really pretty. It gives a really nice pretty shine. Like I said, it's much more of a balm than anything else. But I really do think this is a really pretty formula. And Glossy is pretty affordable compared to a lot of the other brands at Sephora. So I do think this is a nice one if you've been eyeing up these Ultra Lips. I don't think this is a new formula though. I think they've been around for a while. But I think if you've been curious about them, they are a really nice balmy lip formula. And then from Kosas, this is their, I believe their wet lipsticks. And this is in the shade Heat Wave. This came in the duo with the gloss. So the packaging on this is really nice. It's just this slim tube. It's got a magnetic closure. It's really pretty. I love the metallic blue packaging. I think it's gorgeous. The shade itself, really, really beautiful. You can see there, that's really pretty. It's really shiny. To me, this is much more of a lip balm as well. It calls itself a lipstick, but I think it's much more of a lip balm. And while it is a really nice, really comfortable formula, it wears off so quickly. So say I'm filming a video, I could put this on at the beginning and by the end I would feel like it's gone. It just wears down so, so quick for absolutely no reason at all. So for that reason, I don't love this formula. I would not spend money on more shades of this. It's pretty, it's just... It has absolutely no wear time. Next I have from Natasha Denona, and this is the Berry Pop lipstick. This came out with the liner as part of her Berry Pop collection. I love Natasha Denona's lipsticks because they are super long wearing. So they are a cream formula, but again, they're very long wearing. This is what I'm wearing today paired with the liner. And I've had this on for a little over an hour. I've been drinking my water. I haven't eaten anything, but this will last pretty well. It will wear down as you eat and things like that, but this is a really, really long wearing formula. I also have her lipstick in the shade Amorosa. I also have the My Dream lipstick. Again, beautiful, comfortable, but also really long wearing formulas. I really love them. And I think this is the most perfect berry lipstick shade. I am absolutely in love with this. The lip color is definitely a little bit more bold for me, but there is something about it that I am just completely in love with. And again, it hasn't moved around, it hasn't budged, it's just stuck with me. And I absolutely love these lipsticks. Makeup by Mario also released a new lipstick line. He released his super satin lipsticks. I have the shade Bronx Baby, and I'll tell you right now, I am going to be purchasing more shades. So he originally came out with his ultra suede lipsticks, and those are beautiful. The shades are gorgeous, but they are definitely more on the dry side. They come in a white tube. These are so creamy, so beautiful so shiny, incredibly pigmented, and incredibly, incredibly comfortable on the lips. I love the shade Bronx Baby. I think it's a very, very flattering. It's definitely a deeper rose, but I absolutely love it. The way this is comfortable, the way this does not 
cling to any dry patches. It just looks so beautiful. I don't think it's the most long wearing. Again, it is a much more creamy formula. I don't really know why it's called the Super Satin. To me, it's a pretty creamy lipstick to be considered a satin, but overall, the formula is just so comfortable and beautiful and it makes the lips look just flawless. So I absolutely love this formula and it's incredibly hydrating. You may as well have a lip balm on. It's just so comfortable. I love these. They're not transfer proof. They're not the most long wearing, but I think these are absolutely stunning and I want more shades of the Super Satin Lipsticks from Mario. And finally, let's talk about the new Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Icon Lipsticks. So I was very excited about this collection because this is the first new line of bullet lipsticks she's released in a long time. So she released a set of pinks and a set of reds and the pinks are in the kissing formula, which is supposed to be more a creamy formula and the reds are in the matte revolution formula. So I picked up two pinks and a red. So the first pink I picked up is Icon Baby and this is not her typical kissing formula. It's a beautiful, beautiful pinky nude shade. There's no doubt about that, it's a stunning shade. The issue is, is that she's got glitter particles in here so that it's actually a very gritty formula, which is really interesting. It's really interesting to put on the lips. I do find that now that I've worn it a few times, because the shade is amazing, the gritty feeling isn't as bad. It's still there, but it's not as bad. I found when I first put this on, the gritty feeling drove me absolutely crazy. I found some of those gritty particles kind of got in my mouth a little bit, and I hated that. Um, and I just found it really uncomfortable and kind of a weird experience. I know there are a lot of other lipstick formulas from other brands that do have more of a shimmer to them as well, but you never feel the shimmery particles, so I don't really know why we had to feel it in this. I think that was a big turnoff for me. I've heard some people say they don't mind that. I definitely do, but I will mention as you use it and wear it down a little bit, you still feel the grittiness, but it's not as bad as when you first put it on. The shade I absolutely loved is 90s Pink. So this one is definitely a more rosy pink shade. This is more of her standard kissing formula. You're not worried about those gritty particles in here. It's absolutely beautiful. It's just very smooth, very hydrating, very creamy. Makes the lips look again so soft and pillowy and just beautiful. I love, 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 love 90s pink. And then I also picked up Mark of a Kiss because I thought if I'm gonna have a red, it may as well be Charlotte Tilbury because she does have one of my favorite matte lipstick formulas because it, it truly is one of the most long wearing matte bullet lipsticks that I have. So I really wanted to try this. I do love these. I love my Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. I have a whole display of them right behind me. I love her lipsticks. Just the only miss that I would find in this collection was probably Icon Baby, just because I can't stand that grit. But that is it. I told you I tried too many lip products this month. I don't think I've ever had a month where I've tried this many lip products. I remember quite a few years ago, lip products were my thing. Like everybody in my life knew that I was crazy about lipsticks and lip products. It was just a weird thing I had. And I kind of laid off of them because I realized I had just so many was bananas. And then I kind of got more into other products as well. And now I find I'm circling back to my obsession with lip products. So maybe this is just a thing I'm going to have for the rest of my life. But that is it. That is all of the new lip products I've tried. Let me know down below some of your favorite lip formulas. Do you have any suggestions of ones I should try? I did see that MAC has completely reformulated their MAC their matte line so I will be trying those as well I have already ordered a shade and I'm very excited about that and I'm sure there's lots of others to come but these are the ones I've been trying and loving recently again let me know down below what are some of your favorite lipstick formulas I just love hearing from you guys thank you so much for watching if you're new here I hope you'll consider subscribing before you go I do upload at least three new videos every single week Thank you again so very much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye!